Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Midwest Gunworks. And today we are going to be going over the process of how to choose the correct choke tube. Let's check it out. So whether you're hunting, your shotgun's used for home defense, or you just like shooting it at the range, you're most likely going to change the choke tubes at some point on your shotgun. So today we're gonna go over the process on how to choose the correct choke tube for your shotgun. We're going to talk about 12 and 20 gauge, and we're gonna go through everything that you need to know, whether it's from the thread, to the constriction, to the type of choke tube that you want to choose. So we are going to be talking about 12 and 20 gauge choke tubes, but most of the measurements that we're gonna go over pertain to 12 gauge because that is obviously the most popular. So the first thing you obviously need to figure out is, is it going to fit in my gun? So what that pertains to is the thread on the choke tube and what your shotgun is threaded to take. Now this may be Cryo, uh, Benelli Standard, and Vector Plus, and Vector, there are a ton of options. So if you go on our website and you hit the accessories tab and then choke tubes, it is going to bring everything that we carry up. Then you can go to the filter on the left side and you'll see choke tube series. These are all the different models or series of chokes. What are they threaded? What do they fit? What are they called? Let's just say you click on that cryo system. It's going to bring all the cryo chokes up, whether that be a factory Benelli tube or an aftermarket like Carlson's, Pattern Master, Jeb's. All of those are available on our website. So I think our website is a very good tool to figure out which choke tubes we have available, what they're threaded, um, but you wanna check with the manufacturer. The easiest way is to look online or call the manufacturer, Benelli, Beretta, Browning, and figure out what your shotgun is threaded specifically for. Next is going to be constriction. So constriction is probably the most important after figuring out that it's going to fit your shotgun. So let's just say you're hunting for geese or ducks. Now you want your shot to be tight, but you don't want it super tight to where it's hard to hit what you're shooting, but you don't want it so opened up that you're barely getting any pellets on target. So you wanna find that happy medium. This is done by figuring out the usual distance that you're going to be shooting, the shot that you're going to be shooting, whether it's a two shot, three shot, four shot, steel or lead. So there are a lot of factors. So looking here at the different choke tubes, you'll see constriction. So what this means is how much more tight is the choke tube than your bore. Now a 12 gauge bore is generally 725 to 730 thousandths in diameter. So looking at this chart, you'll see starting with cylinder, it is the same constriction as your barrel. Skeet 1, 5 thousandths, improved cylinder 10, skeet 2, 15, modified 20, improved mod 25, full 30, and then you're getting into the extra full in turkey at 40 and 45. So what this means is it is, let's just look at the modified, 20 thousandths tighter than the bore. So what that means is it's going to constrict that shot down so that it is in a tighter pattern coming out of your gun. So therefore, turkey is gonna have a lot more tight pattern than cylinder, skeet, improved cylinder, all of these smaller ones. So if you want your shot to open up, you're going to have less constriction. If you want to tighten it up because you're shooting at distance, you want more constriction. So here is a modified choke tube. You're going to see that it measures 705. So that generally is about 20 thousandths to 25 thousandths constricted from the bore. Then you're gonna look at full, which this one is measuring right at about 700. So you're getting about 30 thousandths constriction on the full. So I was able to find this chart online and it's a good um, thing to look at and see just in general what your shot is looking like. Now, 
This is not an end-all be-all, and none of these measurements or certain choke tubes are. There's going to be a little bit of variance either way, but this is going to show you a generalized size of the spread. So starting at cylinder, you can see at 25 yards, you're getting that 40-inch spread. Going up to full, it's all the way out to 40 yards. So that's where you'll see the difference between having more constriction and less. Now when shooting, let's say snow geese, you may be shooting at a pretty good distance, but you don't want it super tight um, because for one, you're shooting steel shot or tungsten, whatever that may be. So you want something in the middle, which is usually a modified. It's a very good versatile choke tube. You'll also notice on choke tubes that they have little hash marks on the end. This is going to tell you the constriction without having to take it out. Now, obviously make sure the gun is completely unloaded, bolt locked back before you go and look at the end of the barrel, but this is going to tell you all the way from full to cylinder what they are. So one being full and then working down the line, improved, modified, modified, um, and figuring that out, then you can just look at the end of your choke tube and see what you're rocking. Again, it's up to you to figure out what's going to work best for your application, but if you're hunting, you definitely don't want something that's too open. You don't want something that's too tight. You want something that's gonna work well at different distances. And finally, last but not least, is figuring out what type of tube do you want? Do you want a flush or do you want an extended? Performance wise, they're not gonna make much difference. It just comes down to a flush, you have to have a tool. So if you're changing out choke tubes a lot, changing them in the field, you are going to need a tool because you're tightening them down and it's recessed inside of the barrel. An extended choke tube, you're going to be able to remove, change just by hand. So that is personal preference. So if you wanna know where to start, I say get a pack get different choke tubes, like how we have these Benelli choke tubes packaged together, and then you can test them. Go out, get a 36 or 40 inch pattern board and shoot the different choke tubes. Then you're going to be able to see your spread at a distance. Go at 25 yards, shoot your first choke tube to your last one, and really see the difference between one and another. That's going to give you a true sign of what you're going to use for different distance of shooting. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave those below. This is a pretty extensive um, subject that honestly you could have an hour long video going over, but we just wanted to make a very quick generalized video so you can figure out the concept of picking a choke tube. So as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check us out at MidwestGunWorks.com.